Hey friends, Shay Parent here, Remax River City's Platinum Team, and today I have the pleasure of hanging out with my good buddy, uh, Chris Crawford, and checking out his badass new space out uh, in Shore Park. So for all your mortgage needs, talk to this fella here. Thank you. Uh, and uh, really I wanted to sit down because there's some new mortgage, uh, I guess, initiative with uh, first time home buyers. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about it. So I was hoping you could educate me and, uh, and the folks there if you, you want. So new uh, first time home buyer program. What's, I guess, what's going on with that? Yeah, so it's a program that the government of Canada is rolling out. So if you're a first time home buyer purchasing a property uh, that is either brand new or existing, they'll give you a specific amount basically as a second mortgage uh, okay. that's added to um, what you'll be able to use for a down payment. Okay, so down payment assistance is the yeah. big yeah, that's the, okay. the big thing. But the way that, and the reason I, I, I frame it in the sense of it's a second mortgage, because the reality is it will be registered on title. Okay. And it will be something that has um, a requirement for repayment. Okay. Now, the plus side to it is there's no interest that's being charged okay. based on uh, the loan. It's just repayment upon um, either refinancing the property to um, increase the mortgage or after 25 years of having used this loan or uh, if you're selling the property. So the government okay. has those restrictions on there. Okay, so if I'm, if I'm a first time home buyer flipping a property, the assistance probably not gonna help me all that No, much. not not a okay. lot. I mean, what it'll do for you, you'll still have to qualify. If for, So for instance, if you're putting down 5% and you're using the 5% that the government will give you okay. if it's an existing home. So you're putting 10%. 10% now. down, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, you're effectively still qualifying as if you're putting down just the 5%, okay. not 10%. Okay. Uh, the insurance premium with CMHC will change slightly. Okay. However, it's still qualified at a higher amount because again, it's a second mortgage that's being added. Uh, it's just at no interest to you as a, as a consumer. Okay, so what are some of the main, I guess, benefits? The, the only benefit, I mean, obviously the monthly payments being okay. reduced. Uh, that's one massive benefit, um, but that, I feel is is really the only benefit that you'll see out of it. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of uh, downsides to it. Um, so I think there is a niche niche market for this okay. where it would make a lot of sense for certain families. Okay. Um, and there's other families, but like you said, if someone's looking at flipping yeah. uh, or someone um, maybe that has an income that's higher, family income higher than 120,000, like it's not something that they can take advantage of this. So as, who, as who's the ideal target market or user for this product? Then? So the ideal would be a family that has a household income of just under 120,000 that's looking to mortgage a property for less than 480,000. Okay. And the reason I say 480,000 is because you cannot borrow more um, than what, uh, sort of more than four times what the annual household income is. Okay. Okay. And then ideally, it's someone that wants to be in a home longer term or is that? Yeah, longer term for sure. Okay. Because when you repay that loan, the loan needs to be repaid based on five or 10% of what the property is valued at at that time. Okay. So if the property has gone up in value, then you would repay you know, the five or 10% based on the future value, not on the value, uh, or sorry, not on the size of the loan on the day that you, you took the government program. Okay, so basically joint venturing with you. Then, yeah, that's a great way to put it. Okay, yeah. okay. so it's a no interest loan, um, but you're gonna repay and they get a share of the, the equity increase, yeah? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, or the equity decrease. So they'll also share in the decrease if it has gone down. Okay. And then I guess what are some of the pitfalls or I guess things you should know about that, the product? Uh, specifically is how it would apply to you as a consumer. Okay. Like uh, the, the big things and uh, maybe not the pitfalls, but the things that we would want to chat with with an individual who is looking at the program yeah. is how it suits their situation and show them what it would look like with or without the program. So. Uh, the only other question I think, and I'm not sure if we hit it, but um, would it change the amount of home I can qualify to buy? Basically? It would not. It would not. No. Okay, so still the qualifying is still done at the 5% with the stress test amount. Correct. Right? Um, but you just don't get any extra bump for that. Yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't add to your buying power, okay. but what it'll do is it'll it'll reduce the monthly the monthly payments. Awesome. So right, cool. our hope is that I mean this is this is the conversation is really what, what's come out of this product. Okay. Um, 
we do anticipate or we are hoping that there will be further changes you know with the federal election coming up that will make uh, additional allowances for um, first-time home buyers to make you know housing that much more affordable yeah then my, and my first impression is it stimulates a little bit yeah. but I don't think it's enough to really make some huge impacts in in the market right exactly yeah okay. yeah good awesome well, hey, if you have any other questions or want to uh, get some insight on this product or many other mortgage products, talk to my good friend here, Chris Crawford, over at Innovative Mortgage Solutions. Awesome. Thanks, Shane. Awesome. Take care, guys. Yes, buddy. That was good. Good. Thank you. One and done.